Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we are recording uh, the solution for day five of Advent of Code. Um, let me just set everything up. So basically, yeah, I've, I've created a step as before. Let me start my timer and let's go read the, the task itself. Okay, so um, I managed to sneak into the prototype system in the function lab. They also make decent progress. Um, You scan the chemical composition of the suit's material and discover this form of extremely long polymers. One of which is available as a puzzle input. The polymer is formed by smaller units, which, when triggered, react with each other such that they're just continuous with the same type of opposite polarity and destroyed. Units types are represented by letters, units polarity and characterization. For instance, R are units with the same type, but opposite polarity are R and are even but then it react. So Two adjacent units of the same type and opposite polarity. Okay, for example, in AA and A red will be nothing behind, in A B B B B B B is to itself, in A is above, this is then destroy itself, leaving nothing. In A A B A B, no two adjacent units are of the same type, so nothing happens. Uh, a A B B A B B even though A and A are of the same type, the color is much, so nothing. Happens now. Consider a larger example. The first C is removed, then it creates this creates A, which is removed. Uh, okay, after all, post the polymer contains 10 units. How many units remain after full reaction the polymer use can not in this puzzle? And other the input is large. If you keep copy paste your input, make sure you get the whole thing. Okay, is it large? Okay, yeah, uh, so this is the input. Uh, this is the first one where we don't need lines. Okay, um, uh, let me just uh, two minutes to read the task. Okay, let's see. Um, so we need to basically uh, try to find the pair in here, right? And remove it and then basically start over, I guess. It's, it's, it sounds pretty simple, actually. It sounds pretty simple. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, let's write a function which will be remove one, right? And, and we basically start from the beginning, uh, loop index is zero and we basically if index is bigger or equal than um, so basically we'll be count comparing uh, this one and previous one so we can start with one Right, and uh, if uh, as long as it's bigger than that, we, re uh, we return S. Otherwise, we return B V C. Uh, if uh, and S E if they kind of match, right. Oh, let me write function uh, invert, which will basically be something, something like convert A to A and A to A, something like that. Um, should have opened this one. Okay. okay uh, so this will be taken character, right? And case letter. So there must be a method for checking if um, it um, get type basically.
if equals uh, character get type ch oh is there is, is uppercase on this okay. Okay, let, let's. It's still st static, yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it seems to work. So if invert first equals the previous one, okay, I can. Then we return, basically remove the two of them. So basically it will be substring from zero to back. E and substring from in E to the end, right? Otherwise, we recur, recur to the next one, right? Recur something like that. Destroy one, right? Now, let's see if it works. Uh -huh. It doesn't work. Ask exception long can be cast to string. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, and if we put something like that, yes, it finds it. Yeah, and it finds. Okay, perfect. And basically, uh, now we need to call it over and over. Um, Basically, loop string input let s uh, destroy one s if identical s is one. And we need to, to count the characters, right? So basically, we need to count here. Otherwise, and it takes some some time, understandably. Um, will we get anything out of it, or it might be an infinite loop as well? And if it is an infinite loop, it would be bad for us. Huh. Let's Okay, I'll probably have to kill the REPL. Let me see if it, it's our processor, then it's an infinite loop. Yeah, it's an infinite loop. Okay, but let's just kill it. We'll have to reconnect. That is fine. So I made an infinite loop. Okay, um, I need to check. Why? Let's do that. Um, so it doesn't really work. Okay. Let's see. 
No, it's fine. Okay, let me see. Okay, yeah, so now it evaluates, right? Yeah, cool. So somewhere in there, uh, so there is an infinite loop somehow, but it can be here, right? And string is always getting shorter, right? So right again. So this row one seems to work fine. Right? It cuts what it needs to cut. What it needs to cut and um, uh, uh, why is uh, an infinite loop? Let, let's try again. Maybe it's not an infinite loop. Maybe I, I need to output like a progress or something like that. Like uh, how short our string is. Like um, if I put print something like that in here. Right, so I will see how, how the progress is made. So probably it's just very inefficient way <laughs> to to find the answer. Okay, okay. So so I can see why it might be an inefficient one because we always start over and over, basically. Right, so. And the input is pretty hard, so it's 50,000 50, characters. Okay, let me stop it again. Let's try with, with debug output. So basically, let me move that into part one. Let us connect. Five, three, five. Okay, so here something is happening. Connecting. Okay, maybe it wasn't required. Huh. Okay, now I don't understand what's yeah, I have syntax error. Okay, yes. that's understandable. Too many arguments to it. Yeah, because we, of course, because we need to do this. Now the function works. Let's see. So it uh, it shortens, it shortens eventually, but. Mm, not fast enough, I guess. Well, we can wait. Like it took around ten seconds, probably, to get to through first ten thousand characters. Um, so we can just wait, I guess. Well, while while we are waiting, we can think of a ways to improve the situation, right? So, basically. We can try to use string buffers or something like that. Um, let me think if it will improve the situation.
we can also start uh, well yeah so there's nice sort of decomposition here like destroy one the functions that does one thing and we reuse that on every step but if we could like pass this state like the second after we find found some state in um, destroy one there is no need to start like from from the start again we can actually um, start from something else so okay let let me see so basically if we pass index in here and if you return it like that all right so well, I, I i should use like um, like that or even new or like that okay so basically um, So this is what I want to change. So E now is like on the left, right? And um, we are returning the index. So basically here we will so okay E is zero and we transition if the string is the same we do return otherwise we print our status and we record with so basically if it's yeah something like that does that work so we don't start from the beginning, right? So obviously <laughs> this would take too much time. So let me like try it again. Let's see if new version works. Okay, so new version doesn't work. Okay. Uh, let me first check if destroy one still works. It doesn't work. Okay. Oh yeah, because we need to pass like for example zero. Okay, ABC. ABC. Okay, it seems to work, right? So ABC. And basically if we start from three, if we start from four. We don't find it. Okay, yeah, it seems to work. Okay, so let's see if it would improve our like speed of our solution. It not much, right? Well, it seems to run a little bit faster, uh, but not much. Okay, okay, let it run while we think of the next optimization. So right now, basically, we copy strings over. You could think so, right? So, hmm. if you use something like string buffer and like use mem CPI or something like that, or mutable array, even mutable array, even okay, let's try to use mutable array. So, basically, um. Yeah, so something like that. <laughs> okay, let's. 
So all the difference would be like, this will be a length, right? So this condition would be like that. Um, and this ends works on on the race. Or is it a get? It's a get, right? And here we need to like to make a mutation. And the mutation would be like arrays. Oh, we need to somehow pass the length of the array as well. Um, something like that. Something like that. Right? Something like that. Uh, so, len will be uh, twice as short. Uh, beginning, we don't copy the beginning, but this isn't uh, Java link race. Okay, let's see. Copy, 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 copy. Um, <laughs> no, I don't need a copy. I need actually like like move or something. It doesn't have it. Can't I just like If I, if I if I would copy <sighs> oh there's a system array copy okay maybe maybe this one would, would help us. Yeah, this seems uh, to be like system recopy, as you see, pause. So basically. Uh, let's let's see. System array copy. We are copying from S to S. Uh, I suppose uh, basically. Zero one. So we're starting from I plus two, we're copying to I, and we need specify lengths. Um, minus one I. Okay, this seems to be like kind of risky, but let's see. Let's see if we can three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Mm. 
Okay. Now. And I convert from Wait, what 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 does the array returns? What would I expect, right? It's not an array of characters. Outside of characters. Okay, so this one is all right. How do I convert back? Hmm. Oh, yeah, because it, it doesn't return like. Um, Like this, yeah. Um, hmm. A B C A B C B C. Right. So, but uh, <laughs> uh, it also returned slangs. So basically, let's see how slangs is. Um, return slangs is six. Okay, perfect. So. Okay, so we start here with like enter array. Uh, oh fuck, because I was editing the execution stopped. Okay. Anyways, enter array input y is when is that? So basically like that. If something was returned, we want to we basically want this new LAN and let me have it new string. Okay. okay. No, 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 it wouldn't work. Okay, let's just return LAN. Uh, otherwise, we print like New land recurve is the same. We try to oh. I did the wrong thing. I did the recursion wrong last time. I didn't use my optimization. <laughs> mm, okay, but it's too late now, I guess. Let's see. No, this can't be the answer. Um, Now we're talking. At least it's it's faster now. Hmm. Right. Right. I didn't require. Probably if if I didn't print, it would even run faster. So it's ten thousand seven six six. Okay, 
Let's see if it's this, this is the correct answer. And that's the right answer. Okay. Um, let me mark my my time. So it took me 30 minutes. Okay. It's it's pretty long. It's been a pretty long. Time to improve the polymer. One of the unit types is causing problems. It's preventing the polymer from collapsing as much as it should. Your goal is to figure out which unit type is causing the most problems. Remove all instances of it regardless of polarity. Fully react the remaining polymer and measure its length. For example, again using uh, the polymer from above, from a, a unit produces blah blah blah. Fully react and this polymer produces DCBC, which has length six. Removing the B units produces fully react and this polymer reduces the D, which has length eight. Removing the C units produces fully react and this polymer produces DD. In this example, removing all CC units was passed, producing the answer four. What's the length of the shortest polymer you can produce by removing all units with just one time and fully reacting the result? Okay, so basically now it wants me to to like take this solution and call it like how many letters do we have here? Like 26 times, right? So let's see how long does it take to run this. Um, once. Probably calling 26 times is not a problem. So it takes around a second. So it should take around 26 seconds. Oh, okay, let's change this like that right so now input is a string and we need to like um we need to do seek a b c d e f g okay i don't know the alphabet i'll just use keyboard because it doesn't matter which order this reagent is this uh, basically let our cup is actor so after case ch okay let me call it ch and this will be ch uh, finally, a uh, string would be, input would be like remove Something like that, All right? So join, remove. So we try to remove it, right? And then we do this. Basically, print the land part one on this input of on modified input, right? And and we 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 should. Uh, Something like that, and then we we'll find we we'll find the smallest one. All right, I mean, you can probably find it. Uh, so let's see. <sighs> Maybe not. 20, 262, so far 262 is smallest, well, this is the smallest by far, the P is so smallest. So basically, the second part of the task is a check that our first one executes like 
one indecent amount of time, not an incredibly long amount of time. And that's the right answer. Okay, cool. Uh, let me let me mark my timestamp. So it's 35 minutes for both parts. Uh, now what we need to do is basically like uh, prettify this somehow a little bit. So it uh, outputs our like. the actual number right so basically the way we do that is we need to find the smallest so it's probably reduce instead of do seek so basically reduce the smallest one let's start with max long max value and we start with this the sequence and all we need to do is to write a function here that we will take max and okay we'll call it m and ch right then we reuse this code like let input this this Basically, you can probably write it like that, then write remove. So it would be a little bit easier to read, something like that, right? Then we need to like um, actually calculate the reduced value of it. The reduced value of it will be basically the part one of input, right? And and what we need to return is the minimal of the previous one and the reduced one. So this way we should get our answer. I hope so. I also still inclined to include this somewhere in there basically something like that I still want to actually separate this like that like that like that like that this like should work and the output should be our i'm just running this in lane console well actually let, let's see what happens if i run it yeah so if i run it in lane console the uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh yes yeah, so i guess this one is a mistake Let's see i'm not sure that like the color plugin will print the intermediate results as they get calculated so as a uh, the function um, evaluation is not finished yet but i print as long as i um, during the calculations right and i wasn't sure that it will print the intermediate uh, output in there it then doesn't so probably when it finishes the all the output will be here but it's not good enough for me so that's another reason why i think i need to write my own <sighs> closure plugin for visual studio code yeah so this is the result and now and only now it prints out but it also adds extra new line which isn't pretty but we get the result right so basically yeah this one isn't needed the part one is basically well is it self-evident i don't know but yeah it's, it's probably self-explanatory enough enough ish i guess uh the other things they wanted to try 
was to actually always start from zero. So we see we've seen that uh, part one takes uh, around one and a half second with this optimization. How long will it take without this optimization? So basically, optimization is if we haven't found anything until position i, there is no reason to start from the beginning again, right? We can start, and if we've finally found some pair, we can start from that position, actually. Um, the, the, the same position, but we actually have to go backwards one position, yeah. So it takes significantly longer, uh, which makes me think that maybe solution on strings would be fine if I didn't mess up this recursion here. So I forget I, I messed up the recursion here, so basically it was looking always looking from from the first from the beginning. Um, yeah, I guess we won't see the answer anytime soon. So should I try to let let me do this. Let me so this should be y, right? Let me commit this result before it's too late. So there's some changes to stops, but basically this code is fine, right? And okay, so so it took wait, wait. Oh, it's not it's not very interesting. Um let's change it to strings again. <laughs> Uh, so we still consume i, uh, there's still count s, and there's ands instead of this. There, here we return what we do, we actually return concatenation of substring from zero to e and substring for i plus two to, to the end yeah like that and y and yeah uh, something like that so s is just input length should then count lengths like that the new i return the and here yeah and we don't need that so let me see if this would be good enough uh, because well solution in the strings looks nice right so it's 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 um, nicer than the solution on. On a race, a race of Messi, especially in closure. Uh, but well, they're like always Messi. Okay. Um, I hope this worked. I hope this worked. Okay. I probably have made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, not a little single count because it should be count. And still destroy one is something goes around with destroy one. Okay, let's see. Long cannot be cast to string. Yes, because I forgot the string argument here. Yeah, and it calculates in almost the same amount of time. So yeah, so this um, roundabout, uh, sorry, this um, racing gear was was unnecessary basically. And yeah, basically, if we run. Yep, 
So forget about the arrays. So let uh, commit to the five solution. And let's see that it still calculates the second one, but it will probably do. So I think we are good. I will just wait this for finish. It was like 40 seconds, right? So 26 letters, 1.7. 1.7, yeah, 40, 45 seconds probably, something like that. It will take for the part two, which is fine. It's certified. Okay, cool. Uh, so it works. Everything works. Uh, well, I guess thanks for listening and follow me and look for further videos. Bye bye.